Hi everyone, so uh, just now we are done with the gate instrumentation question paper and I am receiving a few questions. So as just as I am receiving the questions, I am solving it. So if you remember any questions, please do send us on our telegram group. The link will be in the description. So this was the first question that I received. So here the students are saying that this was asked. I don't know what was asked. Ratio of occupied and empty. So ratio of occupied to that of empty. So these were the occupied which you can see in black. These were the occupied ones and uh, rest is empty. This is the empty one. Okay, so do let me know in the comment section if the question is correct or not because I don't have the question. So what will be the approach? Approach will be simply one thing that this will be the diameter of the complete circle, right? This will be the diameter of the complete circle. That means if this has a, this circle has a radius r, that means the complete circle will have a diameter of 6r. That means radius would be 3r. So the area would be pi 9r square. So the complete area would be 9 pi r square. Here I am not solving it slowly, but I am just answering it quickly. So the complete area is 9 pi r square. And what, what will be the area of occupied ones? Area of occupied ones that would be here there are 7 circles 3, 3 and 6, 7 circles. So 7 pi r square. So what will be the area of unoccupied ones? area of unoccupied ones would be 9 minus 9 pi r square minus 7 pi r square it would be 2 pi r square so what will be the ratio occupied divided by empty so 7 ratio 2 this would be the answer there was one more question from verbal aptitude they asked to write let me see they asked to write uh, the increasing intensity increasing inten intensity increasing intensity this is what they asked so the question was drizzle rain downpour drizzle rain downpour so in the similar man manner this this was empty car and food and next was so all these means fighting right Drizzle is less rain than rain than downpour. Halki barish, fir barish, or fir bahut tagdi barish. So here the word would become that is bikar. That, that means just fighting. Bikar means fighting. Kual means a lot of guys are fighting. A feud means big mob is fighting. So here bikar would be the correct one. Uh, these kind of questions should be dropped because most of the students don't even know the meaning of bikar. Even I did not know the meaning of bikar. I just googled it. Right? So after googling it, I know the answer. So these kind of questions are made to be dropped. If you remember any questions, please do send it on our telegram group and let me know how did your question paper go how, how was the examination what was the toughness level okay thank you